In this tutorial, we'll review the Mesa Troll turning facing process. To start, if you haven't already done so, go to the program page, make sure you are in the correct program, and select program edit. The most frequently used first process in turning, is the facing process. Programming this process doesn't really require a part drawing. Everything we need to know has been provided in the top line of the Mesa Troll program. Since the machine being used here is a second spindle machine, we first need to tell the machine what head we are using. Select the triple arrow menu button. Press the select head button. The select head process tells the machine how to view the relationship between the tool profile and the part, as well as which turning spindle will be the command spindle, single, and synchronized, decide whether the part is held in a single chuck or held in both chucks simultaneously. We're going to hold the part in a single chuck. Finally, we need to choose which spindle is holding the part blank. In this case, head 1. With the next process highlighted, select the turning menu button. And select facing. Machining part, is which face we are working on. The first one, face, refers to facing in head 1, or the left side spindle. The second one, back, refers to facing with head 2 or the right side spindle. Select face. Finish allowance Z, is how much material to leave for a finish pass on the face, after all roughing cuts. I'll leave 10 thousandths. As you can see, the control has looked in tool data and automatically selected two tools, in this case the same tool twice, for roughing and finishing. If you do not see two fully developed tools listed, and see something like this instead, you do not have any appropriate tools set up and described in tool data. Although you can continue to program by entering all the information manually, you lose the automatic setting feature for cutting conditions. For our purposes, we'll start with a fully loaded turret in tool data. By default, the control always calls a general edge profile tool, for facing, when one is available. An edge profile tool, is a tool mounted in a holder perpendicular to the face of the turret, as shown. This type of holder is great for facing as seen here but can't really do much outside diameter turning. When possible, I prefer to use a general out profile tool, instead. Out profile tools are mounted in line with the face of the turret. As you can see, this type of mounting allows the tool to face just as with the edge tool, but it can also turn the OD profile of the part. This saves a spot on the turret for a different type of tool when needed. To change the tool type, simply highlight the edge word, and select out from the menu. When the highlight moves to the nominal of the tool field, select tool data window, to see what tools are already described in tool data. Tool 1 looks like a good tool to use for the rough facing operation, so I'll highlight it and press OK. Machining priority number, is for changing the order of cutting in the program, and is best done only after the program is fully written. I'll leave it blank for now, and press input on the keypad. Max depth of cut, is the maximum incremental depth of cut the turning tool will take, per pass. Shown on the menu, are different tool materials to choose from, to help the control calculate an informed value. The insert on my cutter is a coated carbide one, so I'll select coating L auto. The control has inserted a question mark in the depth field, this means it is waiting for more input, and running of the tool path. Alternatively, I can come back to the field manually and put in a value of my choosing which is exactly what I'll do, setting it to 80 thousandths of an inch. Cutting speed, in a Mesa Troll program, always refers to surface speed at the cutting point, on a Mazak lathe. Feed rate, in a Mesa Troll program always refers to the feed in inches per revolution, on a Mazak lathe. These feeds and speeds, were automatically selected from the cutting condition pages, and I'll stick with these settings for now. If you don't like them, you can move the highlight to the field you wish to change, and set them to the values you prefer. The 3M code fields shown here, allow you to run different M codes as shown in the menu list below. All I need is coolant, but you can see there are quite a few actions available as I page through the various menu choices. Using the same method as I did for the rough tool, I'll change the finish tool to an out profile. Select the tool data window. I think tool 5A looks good for a finish tool, so I'll select it and press OK. Again, I'll skip priority for now. Finish allowance Z, is to leave material on the face after the finish cut. 
Setting it to zero cuts to size. I'll select coding L from the tool material selections, which automatically sets speeds and feeds. And again, I'll make sure coolant is on. With tool selection complete, it's time to describe the part. When programming a part in Maze Troll, it's important to understand you are describing the part, not the toolpath. All the control needs is for me to tell it what to do, not how to do it. Describing the facing operation is as easy as reading the data on the top line of the program, no drawing required. The starting point X is the OD max given on the top line. The starting point Z is the work face amount given on the top line. Final point X can be derived from ID minimum on the top line. On a solid part, we're facing down to zero. Final point Z is the position value of the finished surface. That value will almost always be zero. Roughness is the quality of the finished surface. If I choose to use roughness codes, I simply choose one for very coarse, to nine for very fine, and the control will override the program feed rate on the finish tool to give me the desired surface finish. If I choose feed rate per rev, the feed rate I enter will override the programmed feed rate of the finish tool. If I leave it blank, it will just run the programmed feed rate. That completes the facing operation. Pressing the graphic button at the top of the screen, presents a model of the part as you have programmed it. When you highlight the facing operation by selecting it, the model on the screen highlights what that operation will do to the part. Zooming in and rotating the model with your fingers on the touch screen, will help you to better see the change to the model. As with most processes on the Mazatrol control, with the program process highlighted, you can also select the TPC button for more detailed control of the toolpath. In TPC, you can edit approach points, turret rotate position, approach and escape paths, and many other details. Describing everything in TPC is beyond the scope of this tutorial. However, these settings are common to many different processes in Mazatrol and will be covered in detail in a later tutorial. For now, we're just going to leave everything at the defaults. This will work just fine for most basic parts such as this. With facing complete, we're ready to continue processing the part.